Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Zero is a real number. Now in this series, we are looking at a list of axioms for the complex numbers. And these axioms come from Metamath. And I'll leave a link in the description below for more information on it. And what's pretty much happening is we are given a set C called the set of complex numbers. We're also given a subset of C, R, which is called the set of real numbers. And we're given three elements of the complex numbers. Namely, we're given zero, one, and I. We're also given two binary operations on the complex numbers, addition and multiplication. Right, so these operations take any pair of complex numbers and map it to a complex number. So given any two complex numbers, A and B, A plus B is a complex number, and A times B is a complex number. And finally, we are given a relation on the set of real numbers called the less than relation. So given any two real numbers, A and B, it might be the case that A is less than B. And we would write that as A is less than B. Otherwise, A is not less than B. And we write that. And from here, we have a list of axioms for the complex numbers, which I'll leave in the description below. Okay, now we know that zero is a complex number. We're trying to prove that zero is a real number, right? We're trying to prove that in particular, it belongs to this subset of the complex numbers. And to prove that, we are going to be using the following axioms. We're going to be using axiom 1, which tells us, given any two real numbers, a and b, a plus b is a real number. We're going to be using axiom 10, which tells us, for every real number a, there exists a real number x, such that a plus x is equal to 0. And we're going to be using axiom 12, which tells us, for every complex number a, there exists a pair of real numbers x and y, such that a is equal to x plus iy. And iy is understood to mean i times y. And we use the same convention as usual. Multiplication takes precedence over addition. Okay, so now let's get into proving that zero is a real number. So here's how we can prove it. Since one is a complex number, and axiom 12 works for every complex number, then in particular it must work for the complex number 1. So, taking a to be 1, right, so I'm going to substitute a for 1. In that case, there exists a pair of real numbers x and y, such that 1 is equal to x plus iy. But then, since x is a real number, and axiom 10 works for every real number, then in particular it must work for the real number x. So taking a to be x, well then there exists a real number I'll call t, such that x plus t is equal to 0. Right? I'm not going to call it x because we already have an x in our proof. So there exists a real number I'll call t instead, such that x plus t is equal to zero. But then, since x is a real number and t is a real number, axiom one tells us that x plus t is a real number. But, since x plus t is equal to zero, 
we can substitute x plus t for zero, so zero is a real number, right? We're assuming that the usual laws of equality hold. So we're allowed to substitute x plus t for whatever it's equal to. So zero is a real number. And that's it. We have deduced that zero is a real number. So this completes the proof. So taking a step back, it seems that what made this proof work is the existence of at least one real number. Because once we know at least one real number exists, we can apply axiom 10 to that real number and obtain another real number, such that when we add those two real numbers together, we get zero. But axiom 1 tells us the sum of any two real numbers is a real number, and hence zero is a real number. So it just had to do with the fact that we find at least one real number. From there, we could deduce zero is a real number. So yeah. Now, metamath does things a little bit differently, and the proofs are not written like this at all. But I still want to look at some of the results that come out from these axioms of the complex numbers, because I think it's kind of interesting. And so if you're interested, you can keep watching, and we'll do more videos on this. And if you want to know more information about these axioms of the complex numbers and so the results which come from them, Metamath has them. And so that link is in the description below. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.